Hi, this is Frida. I would like to show you how to knit this gorgeous slouchy hat on this tutorial. It's very easy and simple. I've been selling these hats at my local market like crazy. <laughs> And I just wanted to share how it's been knit. Okay, let's get started. We'll be needing two balls of this yarn. It is uh, worsted yarn. The yarn that I'm using is uh, 454 gram or 16 ounces of yarn, but you can use smaller balls of yarn. And then we'll see how much uh, yarn we're going to be using for this uh, slotchy barret. Let's get started. The needles that I am using, it says 8 US. Even it's bulky uh, worsted yarn, but we're trying to use smaller needles. So uh, the purl stitches would be small. So all we need to do is cast on a total of uh, 40 stitches. You can go back and see how I cast on my stitches. And I'll meet you after when you cast on a total of 40 stitches. Okay, so I cast it on a total of 40 stitches. And here you can see I already knitted. <laughs> Doing a shortcut today. So what I did is, I have uh, purl stitches, two sides, total of 50 ridges. So if you count from here, you will have total of 50 stitches, uh, 50 ridges of the purl stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, and up to here, this is the 50th, uh, 50th ridge. So this is how the trick starts. So we're going to be casting off from here. So all I need, this one I was working with uh, circular needles. I love to work with circular needles. Oops, sorry. Okay. The trick to do this, let's get closer. So we're going to be casting off using the purl technique. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. of 10 stitches. Here what we're going to do is we're going to knit this stitch and let this go. <laughs> That's the trick. Cast off this one. Knit this one. And let this stitch go. Stop this and knit this. 
and let this go. Cast off this. Knit this one again. And let this go. Okay, now you're going to ask me why we're doing this. The reason we're doing this, this is going to be a tight stitch here. And we're letting go stitches here. And then I'm knitting. And letting go one and then stitching. By knitting, this part we're going to be sewing later on. So it won't be tight. So by this knitting this extra stitch gives room for this let it, the stitches that we're letting go. Okay, knit this one. Cast off. Oh, oh, I forgot to let this go. Cast off. So continue doing this all the way to the end and I'll meet you. One more. And knit. And let go. So continue. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so far I have cast it off all the way to the end. Now we need a scissor and a needle to sew. Okay. So as you can see, we cast a total of 10 at the beginning. We ca uh, cast on, um, we knitted the stitch and let go the first stitch and then cast off the sec second stitch, knitted, a, uh, knitted again and then let it go all the way to the end. So be sure to leave enough yarn to sew. Okay, and I have yarn from here. So I'm not going to cut that much because I have plenty here. I can use that one too. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it from here. And then... Start sewing. The funny part that we do, which we hate. I hate sewing. Oh, okay, let's do it that, that again. I missed it. I'm going to have a hard time getting this through. Okay, let me try it again. It's all mushy now. At the end. Okay, so finally I had the thread go through the needle. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to plain do a regular sewing all the way down here. It's going to be tough because it, it is pretty thick fabric now because we knitted with we knitted with uh, th uh, thinner needles comparing to the we did the two strands of this yarn and this yarn is already bulky worsted so um, it's going to take hard time to uh, sew it. That's why I use this kind of a needle. It's easy to go through the fabric. So be patient and continue sewing all the way to the end. Just follow this edge because we left uh, we left one of the stitches every other stitches. So it's, it, it's going to be hard but at the end you're going to love your slutchy hat. So I'll meet you continue sewing all the way to the end. Okay now we're almost at the end. I'm going to be sewing just a regular sewing. And I weaved the two uh, yarn that I had at the edges so they're all hidden, gone, secured. Okay, so I'm going to just leave this one because later on we're going to be sewing this part. Okay, let's go back to the fun part. You're going to love this one. Okay, so we're going to pull as hard as we can. <laughs> this is the fun part ever. So, see how it looks? Yeah. I made so many slutchy hats with this uh, 
uh, pattern or style. It just turns out so good. Okay, see? Gives that effect, that texture. This is going to be on your band, on your head, on, uh, on your forehead. So this is going to be tight to hold a hat. That's why we only uh, cast up a total of uh, 10 stitches. And the reason we used a smaller needle to knit the, this, uh, this worsted yarn to give this texture. If you can knit it with a smaller, then it would be tighter. And I tried every small needle I can, but it is very hard to knit the pearl stitch and how rich it looks. So continue to have fun. Just rip it off. Yay! <laughs> and I'll meet you when you have ripped all the stitches that you uh, let it go. And I'll show you how to sew this part. Yay! <laughs> Okay, this is how it looks like when you have on when you have ripped it all out. Okay, now we're going to be sewing this part. Just sew as you would sew, but just go like this. One up down. Don't go back. One up down. Don't miss any stitches between. It's going to be tough because there's not many fabric on the edge. We're going back and forth after. Okay. Pull it. We're going to pull as tight as we can to give that effect. So continue, one up, down, up, down. That's all to it. I usually pick up the stitches on the edge. I'm going up and down, up and down. Pull as tight as you can. So continue doing it. As you were knitting a regular hat, you know, when, when you knit the hat, you're closing the back of it. And this is how you make it. If you have so many stitches, you just pull it as tight as you can all together. Up and down, up and down, under, over, under, over. Okay, so continue doing. And I'll meet you later on. Okay, so far I have... Uh, this stitched all the way around and now I'm trying to there's a gap between so I'm just going to flip it to the right side of the fletchy hat and then uh, try to close the hole here it's almost done it takes a while so just continue sewing to uh, weave this or sew this between it is tough because it there's lots of fabric between to close the gap and just keep on pulling and uh, we're almost done yeah so this is going to be another gorgeous slushy hat and later on I'll be crocheting the flower here and putting a wood uh, button in the middle and here is my tutorial on how to crochet the flower Thank you very much uh, for watching my tutorials. Please do not forget to subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and have a great day enjoying your slouchy hat. And here is the finished hat. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs>